Hi guys, Stephen from James Glenn Car Sales. Today we've got a 2018 VW Golf Mark 7.5R. It's a five door DSG car and it's got a very, very rare option. It's got a factory fitted titanium Akrapovich exhaust system as well as the nice Pretoria, <laughs> Pretoria alloy wheels which fill the arches nicer than the, than the usual Cadiz wheels. Um, so without further ado, let's get a look around. This car was previously supplied uh, by ourselves just last year. Um, customer traded it back in with us for an M2 competition. Kept it in really, really nice shape. Uh, it was a clean car when we bought it last year, uh, especially given that it has covered uh, just a whisker over 60,000 miles. Um, we'll take a good closer look at the front of the car um, just to confirm um, that the usual stone chips that we would normally expect to see in a car of this mileage are very very limited which is great to see uh, if you are looking to sell your car if you've got a sports or prestige car you're looking for a valuation on uh, you can get in touch there'll be a link in the description below we won't buy any car.com but we might just buy your car and for a great price also if you would like to consider subscribing to the channel that would be fantastic that way you'll not miss any more stock updates and any more road tests and as you can see we usually keep some interesting cars in stock um we've got a wee Megan RS Trophy just hidden in the background there and we've got a nice low mileage 09 M3 as well and we've just put out an Alpina B3 so just to give you an idea of the sort of stock that we usually carry if you've got something similar and you're looking for a valuation on it we would love to hear from you so without um, me chatting on about our carbine service any further uh, let's get a closer look at this pure white Golf R so we take the camera about a foot to foot and a half away from the bodywork uh, any closer than that we do start to lose the focus but that gives you a very very good clear idea of just what sort of condition uh, the car is in so there is very very minimal stone chips to the front light lenses and the bumper um, all in excellent order i hope that's coming across in the camera all the cars here are fully detailed um, so we've got no swirl no car wash marks uh, just nice, good, clear paintwork after the detailing process. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, picking up the reflection in the bodywork, uh, we can see we've got no scratches, dents, car part and dings or any other damage to report. Front near side alloy wheel is free from damage and we've got a Michelin Pilot Sport tyre on there as well and a good clean serviceable brake disc uh, on there behind the spokes. And looking down the passenger side from the rear, again we can get a good look at the corner bumper and down the length of the bodywork uh, just to confirm that it has indeed got no damage to report. Rear near side wheel, it's got no damage on it. Um, the car did have a new set of discs and pads fitted uh, to the rear when we were getting the car ready for sale. Everything that goes through an 82 point REC inspection, got also a match in Michelin on there as well guys. Um, yeah, everything goes through an 82 point pre-sale inspection as well as a, a new MOT. Then they come back uh, to ourselves for the detailing. So once we've finished with the cleaning, that's the car all ready and good to go. So looking at the base of the passenger seat and the backrest, we can see that the fabric and everything's all in good order. We've got a set of factory carpet over mats. Uh, we've got the illuminated entry plates as well as the illuminated door caps uh, and the cabin effect inlays as well. There's no excessive wear or any damage on any of the door cards or any of the, uh, the kick panels. And looking across the rear bench, again, just looking for um, dents in the fabric from kid seats or any stains or marks and also looking at the back of the front seats just to make sure that they haven't had a bit of a hard time with uh, rear passengers entry plates everything all free from scuff marks and the door card is all in good shape as well moving around to the rear of the car we can see we've got the gloss plaque uh, rear diffuser and the four exhaust pipes which are now round rather than 
the usual oval and that's because as I mentioned at the start of the video we've got the rather expensive and very rare factory fitted Akrapovich titanium exhaust system uh, it's not too loud but you do realize you do see or sorry I should say you do hear the difference um, when you're in the car there's a bit more presence a bit more vocal noise coming from the rear which is welcomed got a load cover in the back there ensuring oh, load cover in the back there ensuring that the I will fix that so, after the video uh, 64 in rear seats and we've got, say, we've got this load cover ensuring that the cab and everything's all in good shape and if we look under there we've got a space saver wheel Got a very discreet set of mud flaps on there as well, guys. Proper R line ones. Uh, so, looking down the driver's side of the car, you can see that there is no parking dents or anything to report, no damage. We'll have a look at from the other side in a wee sec. Offside rear wheel, free from any damage, just looking around the outer rim there. Uh, we're on a Another Michelin on this corner, and we're on a matching set of four, as we can see here. We've got more Michelin pilot on the last wheel. No damage on the wheel, and the brake discs all in good shape. Looking down the length of the vehicle from the front, again guys, nothing to report. No damage, and free from parking dents. Checking the usual touch points on the door card, we can find elbow marks here. This can sometimes get a wee bit edgy just with like um, jewellery catching on the plastics, but it's all in good order. Uh, we've also got folded mirrors which are heated. Getting a good look at the backrest and the outer bolster, we can see that they're both wearing really, really well. And if we compare the two seats side by side, we can see that the uh, the wear is almost identical. Current mileage 60,689. Being the seven and a half, we've got the virtual dash as standard. Heated seats are all standard as well. Uh, nice th thin gauge leather steering wheel, the flat bottom. Got our controls here for the cruise, which is your adaptive cruise. This allows you to adjust the distance between you and the car in front. And then we've got our controls here for the audio. Let's get the car started and just demonstrate that there's no warning lights and that it idles as it should and we'll also give it a little rev and let you hear what that Akrapovic exhaust sounds like the 7.5 has got a much nicer centre console, it's all glossy it feels a lot more expensive than the 7 uh, the 7 has got a much smaller screen as well I've got the different driver modes here so we've got race, individual where you can customise the car's steering, throttle response etc uh, equal, uh, comfort and normal. Your automatic lights here, automatic wipers. Really nice level of standard equipment on the 7.5. Nice with the rear tinted glass and your anthracite headlining. So let's give it a rev. So once the car's in, race you can actually start to get burble a little bit on the overrun. Uh, the car is cold so we don't need to rev it too hard. We we'll rev it above 3000. That gives you a little idea of what the car sounds like. So now let's just pop back out and uh, we'll get a look under the bonnet. Oh, helps if I pop the bonnet properly. This is a completely standard car with the exception only of the factory fitted exhaust. So no maps, no air intakes, no decats. Just a nice, honest, straightforward Golf R. And to be honest, they go really, really well. It's a very, very healthy 300 brake horsepower. So 
So there we are guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you'd like more information on the car, there'll be a link um, to the website, which will be in the description below. We're always happy to take your current car and part exchange, but also happy to offer finance if needed. As you're looking at a golf art on YouTube, I will put a link to a video up here that I think you might find of interest. Also, as I mentioned earlier, if you'd like to consider subscribing to the James Glenn channel, that way you won't miss any more up and coming stock updates or any road tests. Uh, and it would be great if you'd subscribe or give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down or leave us a comment in the video. That'd be much appreciated. Uh, to, do, to subscribe, just click this B button down here. Thanks again, guys. This is Stephen, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in, in the next video.